The following program may contain elements not suitable for all ages. Performances are conducted by trained professionals. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, fans, to another episode of AEW Evolved. And previously on Evolved, we had those King of the Klondike qualifiers advancing Bulldog Hines with the big win over upstart Heavenly Body Dick Daniels in the opening round. And then we saw an absolute war between Jeremiah Javen and rival Cameron Stevens. Javen able to pick up the win with that big swinging neckbreaker. And then to close out the show, we saw an absolutely epic contest between Young Stallion Shannon Shaw and Drew Douglas. The veteran able to score the big win over the rookie upstart with that dose of coolness. The real story after the match, Drew Douglas once again goes in for that added insult to injury. Hellraiser Justin Locke having none of it. Drew Douglas with a message there, the one gun salute. Rock Shannon Shaw with another dose of coolness before that absolute lunatic heavyweight champion hits the ring with a steel chair. And then we heard these words from the champion. Big unexpected attack from Manly William Marsh today on Evolved. It's a big rematch. Marsh versus Locke next on Evolved. Welcome back fans to another episode of NEW Evolved and today once again we're in Bay Roberts, Newfoundland at the Bay Arena for a big NEW World Heavyweight title rematch as champion Hellraiser Justin Locke steps into action with Manly William Marsh. And then we've got some words from the Steel Panther Cameron Stevens concerning his recent Actions in New Evolution Wrestling. And finally, in our main event, it's the King of the Klondike Finals, Javen versus Bulldog versus Drew Douglas. The action starts now on NEW Evolve. All right, Travis, here we go. AEW heavyweight title on the line in a big rematch. Justin Locke and Manly William Marsh and just a couple of weeks ago on Evolved in Clarenville, Newfoundland. We saw the first encounter of these, between these two men, pardon me, and we saw Hellraiser Justin Locke not relinquish that cross face chicken wing. Referee Justin Crickard reversed his decision. Manly William Marsh gets the big win by disqualification and today once again gets another shot at the goal. Well, Hellraiser Justin Locke might be in for a rude awakening here. This uh, black belt martial arts trained competitor is, is he's, he's, he's going to test Hellraiser's limits. There's no doubt about it as we see Hellraiser uh, bounce into action here. Coming out of the gate strong, Hellraiser Justin Locke rocks Manly William Marsh. Hits the ropes, a big lariat. And that might be it, Travis, right out of the gate. The one. Only a one count, Manly William Marsh. And a William one Marsh. count. Manly William Marsh takes a powder to the outside to recollect his thoughts. As I was trying to say earlier, as this match jumped into action, Manly William Marsh, he's a disciplined, disciplined, disciplined uh, individual. As you can see, he's outside the ring here, just biding his time, trying to figure out his best course of action. He knows martial arts. He knows how to read people. He's going to try to get into the head of Hellraiser Justin Law. And William Marsh with that big surprise attack to close out our episode last week on Hellraiser Justin Locke. Certainly some unfinished business between these two men. And you gotta wonder, is the Hellraiser distracted by those ongoing issues with the Newfoundland wrestling icon Drew Douglas? 
he better not sell William Marsh short here today on Evolve. And he steps outside the ring. He's not waiting any longer. And he rocks mainly William Marsh. He, uh, help is adjust the lock. He throws Manuel Marsh back in the ring. Well, William Marsh, he just escapes the ring again. He's letting everybody know how smart he is. He's taking his time here. He knows the Hellraiser is fired up. Lock having none of it. Steps in. We've got a chase on our hands here today on Evolve. The Hellraiser Justin Lock is going to get in the ring here. And look, you see what I mean? He used Hellraiser Justin Lock's anxiousness against him here and tried to control and dictate the pace of this match. Slowing things down here now, trying to get the firm upper hand here in this title contest on Evolved. A big rematch for William Marsh, certainly the biggest match of his career thus far here in New Evolution Wrestling. But the end goal here is uh, William Marsh is not going to let Hellraiser Justin Locke play his own game. He wants William Marsh to play William Marsh's game. And right now, these guys are at a standstill, so we'll see what happens here. William Marsh stands up to that big shoulder tackle from the champion. He's a big boy in his own right. See, look at that. William Marsh standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the champ. Oh, I'm impressed here today on Evolve. Both men hit the ropes. And that one rocks, man. William Marsh goes in for the corner. One, two. Not enough. Marsh able to get out here today. Hellraiser Justin Locke is fired up. The fans firmly behind the champ. The Hellraiser Justin Locke going right after Manly William Marsh and Marsh uh, smart to uh, the actions of Hellraiser here. Marsh with a big reversal there, Snapmare out of the corner. And that's a beautiful move, there he goes in for the cover. One! Not enough, this is the heavyweight champion, you're going to need to do more than that here to put the Hellraiser away. Follow NEW on Facebook at New Evolution Wrestling NL. Follow us on Twitter at NEW Wrestling NL. Find all our matches right here at New Evolution Wrestling on YouTube. All right, Travis, we're back with more of this exciting contest. Manly William Marsh in firm control here. Absolutely laying in on the Hellraiser here. Breaks on the five count, but the Hellraiser are worse for wear all throughout the commercial break. Manly William Marsh in firm control now in this contest. Well, I think that's the main key point. You had to stay on top of Hellraiser Justin Locke. Because one thing Hellraiser Justin Locke does is he loses control. You see there a big sleeper looking to wear down Manly William Marsh. Those are two big mitts wrapped around there. Absolutely squeezing the life out of Manly William Marsh. He's got to do whatever it takes to break out of this one. Hellraiser Justin Locke. What a beautiful back suplex counter there by Manly William Marsh showcasing his power, picking up the big man. But both guys are down right now and the referee's counting them out. And I can't help but wonder who's going to get to defeat if either of them here. This is a big contest for both individuals. Certainly Marsh worn down by a sleeper hold from the champion men just to muster up enough strength to pick up Hellraiser Justin Locke and drop him with that belly to back suplex straight to the mat. And you see both men making their way back to their feet after that devastating belly to back suplex. Well, these guys are trying to get back to their feet here now and they're fighting back and forth. And I'm sure the manly William Marsh is keen on uh, putting his foot squarely into the NEW Heavyweight Championship division. Certainly Manny William Marsh stepping up to the plate a couple of weeks ago, managed to secure that disqualification win over the champion and now gets another shot at the goal. And he's laying it all on the line here, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the champion. You can see that might be a mistake. Hellraiser Justin Locke, he's a brawler. He is, that's that's his forte. And you don't want to get into a brawling contest with this guy. As you see where you end up right now, flat on the mat. In the referee position, one, two. Not enough to put the manly one away, but what a big Big sidewalk slam from the champion there, taking it all out of Manly William Marsh. Hellraiser jumping with Justin Locke is setting up for one of his patented signature moves here. That's the clothesline from Hell. What a devastating clothesline there. He rocked Manly William Marsh, and that might be it if he gets in for the cover. One, two, no! I can't believe it. Manly William Marsh digs deep, manages to kick out of that one. 
A Hellraiser Justin Locke has won many a championships with that with, with that patented move. As what's going to happen here right now? Looks like he's setting up for that spear. And a kick to, to the guts and a flatliner. Absolutely devastating. Man and William Rash with a beautiful counter. Goes in for the pin. One, two. So close to claiming any W's top prize. He can't believe it. He thought that was it. He hit that devastating flatliner like maneuver. Thought he had taken out the champion. The champion kicks out just at 2.9 to hang on to the gold. And Manny William Marsh was just gesturing uh, to a belt around his waist as if he had already won it. You didn't win anything yet. This match is not over, buddy. And this is just the first match, a title match on the game. We still got the King of the Klondike to come and a big spine buster. That's going to be it. If he gets in for that cover, Travis. Nobody kicks out of this. But he might kick out here. I don't know. There's been too much time. What's on the go here right now? You should have pinned him right away. Success with this move. He hooks the leg. One, two, three. no. Not enough. He can't believe it. He is absolutely shocked. The big spine buster from William Marsh. Not enough. And he is in Chris Murphy's face there, the official. Well, the frustration is understandable. That's his patented finishing maneuver. Is he leaving with the NEW title belt? He's taking the title away from the timekeeper's table. Looks to be making his way back into the ring, and the official's going to have to have something to say about this. Well, the referee is, like, afraid here to get hit with the belt. Lock I'm understandable. So, Locke, what's going on here? Big chicken wing locking it on once again. This is the move he wouldn't release a couple of weeks ago that led to the disqualification. He locks it on. Hellraiser Justin Locke, not known for his finishing moves until recently, but as we see here, he has all the Arsenal tools to be a champion. Is he gonna... And that's it right there. Oh Manny my god. William Marsh unable to continue. The big cross-faced chicken wing takes it all out of him, and he's gonna have to release this. The referee's gonna reverse his decision once again. He needs to be careful here. Chris Murphy is looking, he's bringing the bell. Locke needs to be careful. Come on, Justin. Air on the side of caution. Release it. Fight another day. Chris Murphy indicating to the referee the, the match is over. Down. This is going to be it. And he breaks it on four. Lucky for Hellraiser and Chris Murphy. He's none too pleased with the Hellraiser. But nonetheless, the Hellraiser, Justin Locke, scores the big submission victory here with that patented cross face chicken wing and retains the NEW Heavyweight Championship from a game challenge by William Marsh. And right now, fans, we're going to go to our colleague for a quick word with the Steel Panther, Cameron Stevens, as you see the Hellraiser celebrating his big victory today on AEW Evolve. Let's see what's up with the Steel Panther. I'm here with the Steel Panther, Cameron Stevens. Cameron? I would like to know your thoughts on this devastating defeat in the King of Klondike Day tournament. Yeah, you want to know my thoughts? Devastating defeat? How about this, man? Everybody in Newfoundland, everybody across the country knows my history with Jeremiah Javen. Everybody wants to hear your thoughts. Kids are... Like I said, nobody wants to hear your thoughts. Looks like that hurt. Let's go. <laughs> See you later, punk. Unbelievable assault on the Steel Panther. And we'll be back, fans, hopefully with an update on the condition of Cameron Stevens. Stay tuned. We're back on NEW Evolved, and it's time for the King of the Klondike Finals. But what an absolutely devastating assault by Cameron Stevens before the break by Drew Douglas and Tony King. 
And right now we're going to go backstage before the start of the main event to see if we can get an update on Cameron Stevens. Hellraiser Justin Locke, none too pleased with the actions of Tony King and Drew Douglas. Obviously missed what was going on as he was in the ring for that heavyweight title match with William Marsh. But right now, we've got the finals of the King of the Klondike, Drew Douglas, Jeremiah Javen, and Bulldog Hines set to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in a big triple threat elimination match here to crown the King of the Klondike. Well, this is going to be a beauty of a contest here. Look at this. As these two go at it, Bulldog Brandon Hines and Jeremiah Javen, Drew Douglas is smart. He's letting them go. We're going to see Drew Douglas playing the smart card here, sneaking in behind Bulldog Hines. Hooks him up. A big dose of coolness. What a brilliant move. And that's going to be it here, Travis. He needs to get in for that pin. This is an elimination match. A Bulldog can be eliminated right here in front of his hometown of one, two. And watch this music here. Ad man Justin Locke, he's got no business being out here right now. Drew Douglas is in the middle of the King of the Klondike Finals. This is absolutely ludicrous. Again, I keep going back to you every single time, week to week on NEW Evolved, I tell you, he created this environment for himself. Hellraiser Justin Locke is not putting up with the shenanigans. And you can see Hellraiser Justin Locke finally making his way out to the ring with that steel. Look at this, what an absolute lunatic with a steel chair in his hand once again. Can this guy do anything without a, without a weapon in his hand? He's been chasing Drew Douglas all over the place. And you see referee Chris Murphy administering the count here. Drew Douglas obviously making his way away from the ring. That absolute lunatic Justin Locke chasing him down. Well, this is an elimination match. It looks like the referee is counting him out, but look... Thank God Tony King was there to get Drew Douglas away from that absolute lunatic Justin Locke. You got insurance? Get out of here! And look at this here. This is absolutely insane. He's taking a fan's car to chase after Drew Douglas and Tony King. Will this man stop at nothing to get his hands on Drew Douglas? Great, Grand Theft Auto, Justin Locke. That's wonderful, Canning. That's the kind of company you got going on here. But we can see the action here made his way back into the arena. And Drew Douglas has been eliminated via countout. We're down to Jeremiah Javen and Bulldog Hines. And what an absolute nut, Justin Locke. Committed felonies now here to get his hands on Drew Douglas. And fans will be back with more of this exciting action after the break. Follow NEW on Facebook at New Evolution Wrestling NL. Follow us on Twitter at NEW Wrestling NL. Find all our matches right here at New Evolution Wrestling on YouTube. Look, Hines on the ropes here, looking to set him up for a big superplex, possibly, Travis. Well, it looks to me like uh, Jeremiah Javis holding on for dear life. Big counter by Javen looking to push Bulldog off. He does successfully. Bulldog able to catch his balance, punch back, and rocks Jeremiah Javen once again with a stiff shot. And another stiff shot. And he's going back up. He's going to the well once again. He's going to get this move pulled off. Hell or high water on Jeremiah Javen looking to put him away to clean the well, King of the Klondike. Well, Bulldog is relentless here, wanting to win that Klondike, the King of the Klondike tournament here. And a beautiful suplex right into the center of the ring, and both participants are down here. And he needs to roll over and drape an arm across Jeremiah Javis' chest, pin those shoulders to the mat for the one, two, three. The referee is counting these guys both down to the mat. Now, we might not even have a winner if they both can't reach the 10 count. Certainly, this triple threat elimination match here today. We saw Drew Douglas eliminated by a countout. 
thanks to Hellraiser Justin Locke and then Jeremiah Javen and Bulldog Hines have been going toe to toe 10 minutes plus now looking to claim the king of the climb the crown and Bulldog Hines certainly looking to get Jeremiah Javen in a compromising position to hit a finishing move of some sorts and he rocks him once again with that left hand and Javen upset returns the favor and you see here both men trading blows Travis the Bulldog Brandon Hines with those southpaws he's a lefty it's confusing for most wrestlers as you know and Jeremiah Javen trying to fight back as best as he can and Bulldog Brandon Hines with spaghetti legs he's running off the ropes here both men running a bulldog with a beautiful beautiful clothesline catches Javen off guard and a one-legged drop kick sends Jeremiah Javen flying once again and bulldog with the audience behind him here for Javen beautiful flatliner there from bulldog that might be it one two no Javen digs deep kicking out at 2.9 to hang on in this contest King of the Klondike on the line, Bulldog Hines, Jeremiah Javen. What a main event here today on AEW Evolve. The action has been absolutely off the wall, Travis. The Bulldog Brandon Hines is screaming out to the fans now, trying to get them behind. It looks like he's setting up to go uh, to end this match here. Fans firmly behind Bulldog Hines as he looks to put Javen away. Waiting for Javen to make his way back to his feet. That might be a mistake in and of itself. Scoops him up for that Michinoku driver. Javen with the reversal, Travis. The Javen with that finishing patented neck breaker. Beautiful swinging neck breaker. Victory here. One, two, three. no. And that was as close as it can possibly get. Bulldog Hans barely able to kick out. Javen can't believe it. Well, Javen looks like he's about to tear his own hair out. He thought he had that match won. With that beautiful swinging neck breaker, I thought that was it for sure. And look at this. Diving Santon Javen letting it all hang out to put Bulldog away. One, two. Not enough. Once again, Bulldog makes his way out. Bulldog relentless in front of the hometown capacity crowd here. And Jeremiah Javen got to be wondering right now, what do I have to do to put Bulldog Hines away? He's hit him with some of the biggest offensive maneuvers in his repertoire and hasn't been able to score the three count. The Bulldog Brandon Hines is back to his feet and so is Javen. Javen's upset. He's kicking the ropes. He's a little bit frustrated. Just can't seem to put Bulldog Brandon Hines away. Wasting time there. Bulldog with the reversal manages to get Javen down in the corner and it's going to be that running cannonball. He flattens Javen in the corner and look at the motivation. Bulldog Hines picks him up. Big Michinoku driver. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and the king of the Klondike. Bulldog Brandon Hines. The hometown boy manages to score the big win in front of his fans here at the Bay Arena in Bay Roberts, Newfoundland. Scores that big victory over a game. Jeremiah Javen, Andrew Douglas in this triple threat elimination match. And fans, we'll catch you next time with more NEW Evolved.